Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Grindcast, the podcast about B movies, Grindhouse, and exploitation cinema. My name is Alex. And I'm Landon. And the film we're going to be looking at today is The Burning from 1981, um, directed by Tony Malum and starring, uh, let's see, what are their names? Brian Matthews, uh, Leia Ayers, and Brian Backer. Uh, um, so, brief plot synopsis. Um, well, so it's a it's a summer camp slasher, um, and as IMDb puts it, former co- summer camp caretaker horribly burned from a prank go- gone wrong um, lurks around an upstate New York summer camp bent on killing the teenagers responsible for his disfigurement. Jesus, dude, get a life. Yeah, I mean, they fucked yeah. him up pretty bad, though. So, I guess we'll just take a look at the trailer, which I f- is probably by far my favorite trailer so far that we've looked at. But uh... all right, let's have a look. <laughs> Thinking about being with someone but no one can see you, don't. Because this summer, a legend of terror isn't just a campfire story anymore. They say he smashed his way through the bunk room door, just a mass of flames. I cried out, I will return, I will have my revenge. Lives on whatever he can catch right now. One summer five years ago is about to happen again and again and again. The Burning. the fucking music dude honestly that is the best part of this movie is just john or what? what's his first name again uh what's his name wake man uh god damn what's his name i know his last name is wakeman um Wake. but still like dude he this fucking soundtrack is so goddamn good <laughs> Uh, but, oh yeah, this, all right, this, this is going to be fun. I'm going to love this. All right. And now it's time to see if we can beat our longest running movie. Is it really? I, I thought we had well, longer. I think last episode was our longest running podcast. Oh yeah. Our longest running episode. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. probably it's probably just gonna get longer f- from there, cause I mean, it's like, I mean, they're supposed to be long anyway, cause I mean, it's like a lot of similar podcasts to this are about that or about that long or longer. But anyway, so well, I guess I should invest in the mic then. Here we go. Yeah, you should. All right, and here we go. So it starts out in Camp Blackfoot five years before. Five years before the events of the main story, and we're introduced to several kids, and they're planning to play a prank on the, of course, the camp caretaker, because he's a fucking asshole, and so, you know, they're gathering everyone there, they're having a little talk, and then, like, they get to it. This, they make their way down to the caretaker's bunk, 
So one of them heads inside with a with a box with something inside. Makes his way next to the caretaker sleep who's sleeping. I thought they were like gonna light the box on fire when I first saw this scene. It's like, oh, it's a box. They're just gonna light it on fire. Yeah, or the, Th- that's or kind the of morbid prank. Th- that's kind of underwhelming, to be honest. Like just a box. I mean, bitch, please. You're right. They have to take a shit in the box first. Oh, it's better than a shit in the box. So then it's a skull they see in the box. it's a skull. It's a rotting skull with fucking maggots inside that they and they lit up the eyes. I mean, honestly, that'd be fucking terrifying. But this part right here, this is the this is the one part that I start to have questions. It's like he knocks the fucking thing onto his bed, onto his fucking bed, like. Well, uh, maybe he thought, no, maybe he had like sleep paralysis or some shit. And he just like saw and was like, that's a figure. I gotta punch it. I don't think that that's not what sleep paralysis is. I think. No, but like, you know, you get like a sleep route, like you can't move once you're, because your body. Yeah, exactly. But he was moving though. Oh, yeah. (laughs) He's just an idiot. Yeah. That's a lie. Yeah, I mean, he is a drunk, so there's that. So, yeah, he burns mm. the shit out of himself. So then he, like, he runs out, he, like, runs out of the building, out of his house. We, we never see the house go down in flames, but he's just, like, engulfed. And, like, then we see this, like, clearly a guy in a flame suit just flailing around outside as the kids watch flame him. Flame suit. Yeah. And so then he, like... Of course, he runs down the hill, somehow never lights any of the bushes around him on fire. Just, I mean, look, that's, that's, I mean, I get that, but. (sighs) Okay, yeah, and so then the kids just completely fucking dip. I mean, who the fuck would? Oh, shit, Jimmy, we just murdered the guy. Let's go, go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and then there's this sequence. About a week later, uh, Cropsey is put in the hospital. Okay, and so then we're we're introduced to these two characters, and it's like this one guy who who's been like working at this hospital for a while, and then there's this other guy that just became a doctor, and it's like his first day, and so then it's like, like like the 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 guy that's been there a while, he's like, dude, you gotta fucking see this. If you if you're gonna be a doctor, you gotta fucking see this shit. It's like a it's like a darker version of a Big Mac. No, 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 wait, what, what, how, how is it he described it? Here, hold on a sec. You have to go back, but it's like, have you ever seen a Big Mac? No, it's, it's worse. It's, I love it. No, it's like, it's like, he, what was he called it? It's like, it's like a Big Mac overdone. <laughs> 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 yeah, I wouldn't want to eat a Big Mac that looks like that. I mean, I don't want to eat a Big Mac in general, but true. <laughs> And it's like, like he gives such a great like way of describing it. It's just like, as long as you live, you are never going to see a freak like this. And you know what? I love that. I love how, I love how they amp that up. That's just. It is good ampage. Yes. Yeah. It's very good. And he's just like staring at him for a minute and freaking. Cropsy grabs his grabs the guy's fucking arm. We don't we don't know if Cropsy kills him. Probably not because he was in the hospital for like five more years. So he probably just like broke his arm or something. Yeah, but, <laughs> but the look on the look on the guy's face, <laughs> his eyes are gonna oh pop God. out of his fucking head. <laughs> That's just fucking, fucking great. His fucking mouth. It's like a fucking fish mouth. I love it. <laughs> it's so perfect. Uh, it's so great. Uh, <laughs> it got better. <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> oh my god. He doesn't want that <laughs> Big Mac dog. He okay. doesn't want it. I don't want a Big Mac. I don't want a Big Mac. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, for those. W- that are watching this movie at home, go to go to seven minutes and fifty five seconds. There you, and just enjoy. <laughs> oh my god. 
I mean, like, since you put this on YouTube, you can just like put the time card on there. Oh so. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on. It's on YouTube. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I mean, not not in great quality, but yeah, it's there. Yeah. A mere max production of the burning. The burning. Honestly, it's red. It's red, so you know we're talking some serious shit here, guys. Yeah. All right. And so, oh yeah, another thing that I okay, special special yeah, special makeup and effects by Tom Savini. This is Tom Savini's movie, okay? Because for those of you who don't know, Tom Savini is the guy who did the gore effects for Dawn of the Dead and Friday the Thirteenth. So this guy is this guy knows his shit, okay? Like he knows he knows how to make some good slasher victims and you know speaking of slasher victims an interesting thing about this this movie in particular is it actually has likable characters yeah the care the cast is actually likable and yeah relatable. I, yeah i mean despite a few of them being kind of rapey you know but like honestly even like like even in some of their final moments, it's almost you almost feel bad for them. It's like that's good writing. If if you can make me feel bad for some rapey piece of shit, that you've done something right. Because I mean, yeah, you get my point. Anyway, so yeah, Tom Savini is like the he's the real fucking star of this movie. Hmm. And so yeah. Uh oh oh yeah. So another oh, thing about no. this movie is um oh, no. yeah. Uh, Harvey Weinstein was uh this was like one of his first movies. This was like I'm pretty sure this was his first movie. Um, I mean he was one of like what was it three or five writers or something, I think. Like him, Tony Malum, and like some other guy I forgot his name wrote the. Wrote, wrote the movie. But you know what? Honestly, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that, like, you know, this was 1981, and I guess he was... I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say he might have been a different person back then. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, yeah he was probably just hanging out with Bill Cosby like, once <laughs> he was done this movie. Oh, yeah. I mean, but anyway, honestly... I'm not going to let that overshadow how good this movie is because I fucking love it and f fuck off. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we're going through the credits. And so then five years later, we're, he's he's like he's being taken out of the hospital after a while. And so you're it's lucky like, to be alive. yeah, it's like you're lucky to be alive and it's something like. I know you still resent those kids, but try not to blame anyone for what happened. Um, That's the equivalent of, like, look, I know they shot the gun, but don't be mad. I, 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 know they, I know they killed your family, but don't blame them for it. Just, just calm down, man. It was like five years ago, lol. I know, uh, Veneris from Game of Thrones that the guy cut off your balls, but don't blame him for doing that. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Ugh. It was just an accident. No, it fucking wasn't. Or, kind of. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> yep, this movie was a happy accident, wasn't it? Well... No, it wasn't an accident. What? Whatever. Whatever. I just ruined that joke. <laughs> Thanks me. Anyway, so he's so Cropsy's on his way out, dressed in a fucking suit, which is kind of weird to think about when you actually when you've actually seen his face. Like that's actually kind of interesting. But anyway, so we see him like walking on the street. You know, he's around the sleazy part of town. You know. Got like peep shows going on and prostitution, all this sleazy shit. The so, not safe for work kind of stuff. Yeah, slasher kind of stuff. And then you know we have like his like his like POV vision, which 
Of course, to no surprise, they they smothered a bunch of Vaseline on the lens to get the effect. And so then, and then he sees his he, chance for a mate. Yeah, his chance to get his mind off of it, which doesn't exactly work too well, as when he gets to the room, you know, turns the lights off, comes a bit closer, and she's like, like, like she's like, come in, honey, let's let's fuck or something, and then it's like, he he his face is shown to to her, not to the audience, his his face isn't shown till much later, which which is a good effect for this movie. Um, but then she's like, then you you realize just Jesus Christ, this this bitch ugly, like, like. Jeez, man. Like, I mean, yeah. Yeah. She she must have been desperate for cash, I'll bet. She's like, oh, "Who are you? Please leave. No. You're you, you're uglier than me. Please <laughs> just please go. Please. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! And then, and yeah, and so then he like strangles her and he picks up a pair of scissors, you know. Because they're just like his garden shears back home. And, and you, we get the first kill of the movie. Just... Was that, was that your computer doing that? I guess so. Let me put that on to red. Yeah, please. Now it's on red. Good. Okay. Anyway, so then you start, you start stabbing the shit out of her in the, in the gut. Really good effects, too, might I add like like just fucking blood everywhere she falls through a fucking window or he gets choked through a fucking window I think it's both or maybe yeah yeah we don't get to see and so then meanwhile at uh, what was Le it? Summer Camp Le, Le Summer Camp you know beautiful sunrise and we have a have a nice little we have a nice little game going on here nice little game of softball yeah night like yeah nice little game of teenage girl softball and with like this i think this might this is probably the sleaziest part in the movie because it's like this is how you introduce your characters they're just they're just booty watching. And it's like, you know, they're just playing ball. And it's like we and we were no, introduced to we the, please, these like, two characters. Can hey. we please go to like the shots of where Fred, I think, is like holding his neck? Because when I first saw these shots, I thought there is no friend in the world who has their arm in a position that way. Yeah. And so, you know, here's the funny thing. I didn't know this until, like, until I actually looked this up. Like, mm -hmm. but the guy that plays, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, who plays Dave. Uh, that's Jason Alexander. Um, what? He's from Seinfeld. What? Yeah. Yeah, he plays George Costanza from Seinfeld. Like, I Don't always... Clap. Like, I always knew he sounded familiar but like jesus fuck my god yeah and so you know we have him and uh what's the name of the other character um oh, what's his fucking name uh eddie like you know staring at this one girl's ass you know for because that's what that's what guys do in this fucking in this fucking movie yeah that's what that's what they do in that, america they look at girls ass not just just slasher movies in general, really. And it's like, straight up, like, middle of the game, and he just goes up to her, and he's just, and he just goes for it. He just <laughs> immediately gropes her. I'm like, whoa, you stop that right there, young man. It's just the look on his face, too. Just like, what's, what's the girl's name? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, I don't know. Michelle, Michelle. Her name is Michelle. 
Was it? No, no, Michelle it's... was the was the other girl. Was the blonde no, this girl. one, the one like no, that's Michelle. The one that he's up to is Michelle. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, he's just he's got this look, and he's just like, "What's popping?" Oh. <laughs> he's just like, "Hey, come! I'm horny. Come fuck me." It's like I, meet, I gotta, meet me at the rec room at eight thirty. I gotta say, the birth rate for horror movies must be insane. Uh, well, I mean, not really, because like all the people that get like that get knocked up, fucking die. Because rem mm. remember, the final girl never gets knocked up. True. And it's just like you know we have them being creepy and shit, and so then this then the the. Uh, the soft, yeah, the softball goes out of bounds. It's gir this girl named Tiger. I hope to God that's not her real name. And goes uh, goes to uh, goes to get the ball out of the forest. Then then we're introduced to Cropsy Vision again. He's just like stalking her, and then it's like like she's looking for the ball. She, she finds the ball he, just when he's about to stab her. And then she, she she runs off, completely hmm. oblivious to him being right behind her. And he's I'm just thinking like, he probably swung and missed, and he's like, God, <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, so God fucking like, damn it! He like, how, how the fuck like, did I miss that? <laughs> like she ducks and he misses, and then she like runs away. He's like, damn it! Uh it's great. So yeah, she. So yeah, she's coming back. Then we're introduced to our other characters. Like at um, actually no, at first we we just see more of the girls in the cafeteria talking talking about talking about boys. Yeah, and, they're always talking about boys. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where where this where I can make this joke go. But anyway. Not really much to go with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm done with it. And now, like the girls are like, "Oh, I want to go out with him, but I don't know. He's, he scares me and all that shit." It's like, yeah, honestly, at that, if he fucking scares you, don't fucking hang around him. It's not worth that shit. No, no, they have to it. because, like, like he's, he's like, hot. Fucking say something, please. Because that's the worst thing you can do is they not won't. say anything. Because then they it's just, it's more pain for both of you. Like, at different times, but for both of you, it's not, it's not worth it. Anyway, so then it's like, you know, ne next morning, get, get a shot of, like, the girl's bunk room all sleeping. Then, uh, what's her name? Uh, I don't know. Oh, what was her name? Was it just like? Was it? Oh, it was. It was Sally. It was Sally. Yeah. Yeah. So Sally was like, like getting up early, goes to the shower, and then she Take she like shower. she like hears she a noise hears some shit, and it's like Michelle, 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 is that you? And but Michelle's already getting ready. Oh Wouldn't no! Know. Is it the killer, guys? Is it's it the, the killer. killer. Oh no! Who is it? And you hear a scream. And, you and then you see a shirtless man running. No, it wasn't. No, he wasn't shirtless. It was near uh, shirtless. No, it was just Alfred, the the camp creep slash nerd or something. And then it's like he's running away. He was. And then it's like the camp counselor. Todd fucking catches him. Him and him and uh, Eddie catch him. And he's like, what the hell you think you're doing? And he like brings him back over. And it's like, you're fucking sick, man. And it's what like, the fuck? What's and, wrong with you? And the funny thing is, it's like, he his, his claim was, I was just trying to scare her. Like, that doesn't protect your case at all. Yeah, exactly. It's like, that's not exactly a step up either. 
He's like, what are you doing? He's like, I just want to scare. That doesn't make things better. And also, not to mention, like, even if, like, that's also still not very convincing either. Because it's like, you don't go into a girl's shower to scare somebody. You go in there because you're a sick pervert with, like, issues, I guess. Like, if you wanted to scare someone, fireworks, bucket. That's all you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> just like, oh my god, dude, just like, yeah, just light some fireworks in a bucket. Like, and then just like dump them over the edge into the fucking shower and just run away as you hear the screams. That sh now that shit's fucking funny. Yeah. This is just creepy and I don't like it. Anyway, so it's like, yeah, so we have that scene and then it's like. It's like, I got it. I'll talk to him. I got this. Yeah, I, I got this. And she's like, you're just such a pushover on him. He's just a kid. The kids do that. Yeah. Honestly, that's probably like the best reasoning for like the perverted atmosphere of this entire movie is just. They're just kids. Good. They do it anyways. Kids well, because kids are sleazy as fuck in the 80s, you know? Listen, don't have kids, because if you do, they're going to like, try and walk in on girls showering to scare them. Yep. No, no, that's that's a reason not to inbreed, I would say. is Because that, that's how you... That's how you birth children like that. That's the only way you can birth children like that. No, from what I've learned with Harold and Kumar, if you inbreed, you have you get rich, but you leave your son in like this basement area. Why does that sound familiar? Harold and Kumar. I don't uh, go to uh, Escape Guantanamo Bay. Oh. No, I th I was thinking I'm thinking of something else. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but I don't know. Anyway, mm -hmm. so you know they have a talk about about Alfred, and he's like, and he's like, and like, he goes I was up to only... Alfred's like, the fuck, dog. Yeah, the fuck was that, man? The fuck you do, you little shit? I was and... only trying to scare her. <laughs> yeah, sure you fucking were. Sure, you they know. all bullshit. I love this line. I mean, they're all always picking on me. Yeah, it's like I they all pick on me, so I'm just gonna fucking prank someone in the shower for prank a girl in the shower for some I, fucking reason. I hate this camp. I don't want to be at this camp. I don't like honestly, that was me. At fucking summer camp, like every fucking year, because honestly, I didn't like summer camp. I didn't like being gone for a whole fucking week. I loved the camp because it was just like, oh, we going on adventures tonight, boys. Yeah. I don't know. I got into a fight at summer camp. It was awesome. Oof. Wait, did you ever? Wait, were you ever a scout? Were you ever a boy scout? Uh, no, because I wanted to have a life. Damn, okay. <laughs> Damn, okay. So so as an Eagle Scout, um fuck you. Um, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. I, but honestly, yeah, I went to scout camp like mo like what three, four summers in a row or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's like Yeah, I d I didn't really have a super fun time. What happened? Nothing really happened. It's just I didn't like it. Also, mm -hmm. back then I was kind of a pussy and I got homesick real qu real fast. Damn. All right, time for my camp story. All right. I got in, so I got into a fight at uh, one of my camps because it was the camp where I uh, met one of the, uh, a girl I dated who went to uh, a school nearby us. Uh -huh. And what happened was the kids knew about this, but there are the two asshole kids who always wanted to take things too far. So one day they snuck into the girls' uh, dorms. Oh my stole god! The girl, yeah, stole the girl I likes towel, put it in my room, and then 
they like tried to like make me seem like a pervert. Oh my so god. I, yeah. And everyone knew that I liked her, but they knew I wasn't like that. So I chased the kids around and I ran into our room. They locked the door behind me and one of his friends like tried to put me in a full Nelson like headlock. Uh-huh. And the kid like was started punching me, but he was a fucking twig and he couldn't punch or sit. <laughs> so as of the so in the fence, I used my foot and kicked them into the chest. And with the falling inertia, I slammed the other kid into the back of the door head first. Dude, that's some like, oh my God, that's some like, that's some like Liam Neeson shit right there. Or no, yep. some like Jason fucking Bourne shit. That's, 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 that's a, that's a good climax to that story. I like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it's like. So yeah, like they're having a talk and then like Todd talks about how five years ago he was at summer camp and he got, and he got sent home by, by the counselor. I wonder why. Maybe because you lit a man on fire. Hey, hey, they're not supposed to know that yet. Shh. Eh. They're not oh, supposed shit. to know. <laughs> but yeah i mean honestly if if this just spoiled it for you what the fuck dude watch the fucking movie like <laughs> watch the okay watch the movie then come back but make sure to do that second part please we we need downloads please <laughs> anyway so yeah he download it first then watch the movie then come back yeah and so then yeah they have their little talk and then it's like you know the girls talking about boys again talking to Sally about Glazer, the biggest sleazeball of this movie. Oh, Glazer. Glazer. I wonder why they call him Glazer. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's see. What looks like glaze to you? I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, asshole. All right. So they're having their talk. More talking about boys, and so then and then Glazer. Hey, are you go up to my girl. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like, look out where you're going, punk. You know, I gotta because break your legs. I'll have break your legs. I'll and twist, twist your head, your head off. off. Now I'm just gonna tell you one time. Actually, you know, I'm gonna look at my girl. I'm here, gonna here, hold on. You know what? I think Glazer will probably put put this a lot better. Here, let me try this. Look out where you're going, punk. You know how to break your legs, huh? I'm gonna twist your head off. Now I'm gonna tell you just one time. Okay, one time. You stay away from my girl. You understand that? Yeah. Okay, huh? I got that, Doug. You tight ass, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, know, I know you bully me and all, but you got a tight ass, bro. I like those jeans. Where'd you get them? Men's warehouse? I don't think those are men's jeans. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, he keeps threatening her. Todd intervenes, and he's like, he's like, it's like, yeah, let me tell you something. You cause any you cause any problems at this camp, I'm a bust your ass. Todd's a, I love Todd. Todd's Todd's an absolute dad. Okay. I love I love Glazer, not because he's cool, but because he has a terrible like New Jersey accent that I just like love. Yeah. It's just so bad that I love it. Yeah. So yeah. Todd scares him off. And then we have and this then we have this great sequence. You we're know. at the pool doing stuff. Yeah. Jason Alexander hamming it up because because you know what? Jason it's Alexander Jason fucking Alexander. Yeah, fucking George fucking Costanza in this bitch. So yeah, we got our we got our boys here. We got um we we got uh what are the names? Dave um Woodstock. 
let's see yeah alfred woodstock alfred and, and some other guy that i don't know his name we don't care about him much yeah and so it's like you know waving to the girls all that shit you know so they're like talking and stuff um so it's like alfred can't swim he doesn't like swimming and so then it's like He's like, well, fuck you. It's like, you know, fuck you. We're going over there anyway. And it's yeah, like, we're going to swim with our shirts on for no reason. Well, I mean, it's the 80s and it's summer camp. So. And so he's just like, he's just watching them swim. Then, you know, oh, spooky POV shot. Is it the killer? Surprise, it's Glazer. Put, oh, it's push, my boy. Yeah, and it's like he pushes, uh, he pushes Alfred in. Alfred can't swim. So his... So like his friends, his friends help him out, and then it's like, and it's like Glazer just like lol fuck off, and so then it's like, Glazer swims off to the to the girls, a dock, and he's like, you look like a bunch of mermaids up here, you know that? What's up? And it's like, and it's like, they 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 hatch a plan, and like. Like Woodstock's got like this little pea shooter, and he's like, he's like aiming for, um, <laughs> he's aiming for for uh, Glazer with it as all, as mm -hmm. all his friends watch, and so it's like, okay, here, hold on a sec. So then we then we have this great moment, Alfred. This is about to be the greatest moment in your life. There'll be four commands. Ready, aim, fire, and run. The clays is gonna go crazy. Shit. Ready. Aim. Park him. Oh! <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I love this scene so much because it's so reminiscent of a lot of summer camp things. Honestly, cause... it's this is good. This is good. Like this, this is good char character chemistry. I love it so much. And it also gives and, like that nostalgia of being at a camp. It's like you yeah. have the asshole. You have like the group of friends who just like want to fuck around. Yeah, so just like the clown. It has that that great mesh right there. Yeah, and so like. The guys moon them, and then they just they just start fucking running. And it's like, and then and then the the chubby girl on the island pushes Glazer into into the water, which just is like the cherry on top of this scene, and I love it so much. And so you know, flash forward to night to around dinner time, they're hanging out they're hanging out in the in the um, cabin. Woodstock smoking a blunt. Um, Alfred's doing nothing again. A fucking weirdo. Yeah. Oh, he's so weird. He's not doing anything. I know. I'm, I'm just got poking my arm. Stabbing himself. Yeah, I'm just poking my arm with a, with a, with a dart. I'm so edgy. Trying to remember the times I did black tar heroin back in Jersey. Black tar heroin. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, and so, you know, they have this whole back and forth. You know, then we see, then we have, you know, Cropsy Vision outside. And then it's like, goes up to the door, you know. And then, uh, like, um, what's it? Uh, what's his name? I always, no, Dave. Yeah, Dave brings in, uh, brings in some magazines i'll let you finish that um and so then glazer just sees him and he's like look at you guys looking at girly magazines you guys make me sick yeah i learned how you ought to try the real thing sometimes man let me tell you that i'm like listen when i was eight years old i got my first piece okay yeah you fucking trash <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, fucking normies. Fucking normies. Fucking 12-year-olds looking at porn. And so, so then, like, Dave is, like, 
Well, if you, we make you so sick, then I guess I, you won't m mind making a new market price for a bag of rubbers. And he tries to sell him some condoms. And he's like, he's like, I'll pay. Get me what I asked for. And he's like, oh, wait, these aren't lubricated. I want, I asked for lubricated rubbers. What is this? This makes me so angry. Ugh. Law, uh, this is elastic utility and an elastic market right now. Yeah. And it's like, you know, have that back and forth. Then Cropsy, like, is going up to the window. And we have, and we have this great little part. And it's like, like Alfred sees something in the window, and it, and he's like, oh, oh my God. What the fuck is that shit? What the fuck is that? Holy shit. At the window. It's right there, dude. And it's like... What? He's gone. Whoa, I never expected that. Whoa. Dude, Whoa. 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 What the surprise. What the fuck? Holy He's shit. He's gone. <sighs> anyway. So it's like, you know, that shit happens. And it's like... Then they start making their way down to, down to, um, down to dinner, you know, and then it's like, you know, Glazer flirting with Sally again, just, just, God, like, uncontrollably horny, like, dude, I get being horny and shit, but, like, The dragon never sleeps for the keep, wicked keep, dog. Keep it to yourself, man. Like The dragon never sleeps. Okay. Fuck your dragon, okay? <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck your dragon. And just go eat, eat your fucking food, dude. Just... Shh. Like, listen, if you want to talk to your girlfriend about that D don't do it in public around everyone else. That's fucking weird, dude. And it's like, you know, then we have a talk, and it's like, you know, Glazer bullying Alfred again, and it's like, you know, more more back and forth, and then it's like Woodstock's like, hey, I forgot my uh, vitamin E. Let me go back to the, to the, cat to the bu bunks or something, and then it's like, he's going back. Hold on, do we get any cool music here? Oh yeah, we get some rad fucking, like, synth ambience, because I fucking love it so much. That fucks with it. Shit. You know, and he's like, he's like going for, um, to find his vitamins. And, you know, we get, we get another fake out. But, surprise, surprise. It's just Todd. It's like, what stock? What are you doing here? By the way, what the fuck is vitamin E again? Isn't that, isn't that like an innuendo or something? I don't know what vitamin E Hold is. Hold on a minute. Vitamin D is the sun. Yeah. Vitamin C vitamin is oranges. E. Where's vitamin E again? Yeah, I. Yeah, I have no idea. I, honestly. There's no mm. short answer for this on on Google, and I'm too lazy to read into that. Cause I'm fucking, because I'm fucking dumb. Anyway, but, so yeah, you know, another fake out. What a surprise. You know, Cropsy like literally right standing right fucking there. And no one fucking sees him, because everyone's got like tunnel vision. It's for digestion and fat. Oh, I'm I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so it's like you know Todd, fucking with uh, Todd Glazer. fucking with yeah, fucking with Glazer. It's like I fucking know your shit, dog. It's like one more time, one more stunt like that, and you're on your way home. Got it? I like Todd. Todd's an absolute mad lad. Okay. He's a he's a good boy, yeah. Oh, I want Todd to be my dad. 
No, get away. <laughs> get away now. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. So there's that. And then it's like, yeah, then we next day they're headed down to like this this location a bit further away from the camp. And you know, and then they're they're like in canoes and shit. And they start they start splashing each other. Ha ha ha. Isn't it great we're in canoes splashing each other? <laughs> we're all having a gay little time, aren't we? A gay little time. <laughs> Despite this probably being the most heterosexual movie that we've seen thus far. Well, you know, like, what connotation I, I'm using I, it I, in. I, I, know, I know, I know, that that was the joke. Hmm. Well, I don't need to explain the joke to you. It's ruined now. And I don't need to explain to you 12th grade grammar. What? What? The f what you, wait, what? What are you talking about? Nothing. Just press play. Okay. Press play. Yeah, I, I pressed play. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so... Ah, oh, my nose. We got splashing people fucking with boats. <laughs> this all that shit. We're so playful and innocent. <laughs> you know, I like this shot here of like the... That's a good shot, yeah. Uh, yeah, of like the sunset. That's a, like that's a nice little... That's a laptop wallpaper. Yeah, if it wasn't so blurry, I'd absolutely set this as a laptop wallpaper. Because th cause this... The rip of this movie isn't very high quality. Doesn't mm. <coughs> that? Uh, danke. Oh yeah, and so then we have the ghost story. And I... A classic staple of the American camp system. Yeah, but there's a camp not far from here. All right, let's Just give this a listen. The lake. It was called Camp Blackfoot. No one goes there anymore. Everything burnt down. There's nothing left except the ruins. Now this camp had a caretaker, a really evil bastard, and his name was Cropsy. Everyone hated Cropsy. For a start, he was a drunk. Two bottles of whiskey a day, no problem. Like, most of the time, he's somewhere out in space. But if he caught you, look out. Because Cropsy could strip the paint off the walls just by breathing on them. <laughs> now, this Cropsy was a sadist. I mean, he got real pleasure out of hurting him. Scaring them. And he had these garden shears, you know? The kind with long, thin blades. And he carried them all the time, wherever he went. And he had this kind of demonic way of looking at you. One time, this Cropsy really went after this kid from Brooklyn. Followed him around night and day. He made this kid's life living hell. But this time he chose the wrong guy because the kid and some of his buddies had planned a little prank that would scare the living shit out of Cropsy. Only problem was, the gag went wrong. The next thing anyone knows, Cropsy's trapped alive and burning in his bunk. They try to get him out, but the fire's so fierce they can't reach him. All they can do is stand outside and listen to him cry out in agony. I they say he smashed his way through the bunker door, just a mass of flames. And as he screamed out, burned alive, he cried out, I will return! I will have my revenge! They never found his body. He survived. He lives on whatever he can catch. Eats them raw, alive, no longer human. Right now, He's out there, watching, waiting. Uh. Don't look. He'll see you. Don't move. He'll hear you. Don't breathe. You're dead! <laughs> 
Oh, oh no! Oh, oh my god! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, oh dude! Oh, you asshole! You're funny, man. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So the, so at the end of the camp story, friggin' Eddie comes out with a mask and a fake knife. Like, scares the shit out of everyone. Mm-hmm. Which was great, because I like the mask. That was that was a cool mask. I, I want to get that mask. Anyway. So there's that. Yeah, but they have a nice little thing. And then it's like... Middle of the night or something. And it's like... Eddie and... I love how that's the middle of the night. It's like... Near, like dawn and that looks like the middle of the night yeah i don't know i think they might have shot this day for night or something possibly yeah and so yeah it's like eddie's like come on we gotta yeah let's go out for a swim yeah let's let's go fucking shit and so that's like what's her name again michelle is it really michelle because i'm pretty sure michelle is the other lady yeah yeah, that's the other lady. That is definitely the other lady. This is the lady that plays Michelle. Michelle is the blonde counselor. Damn it. Told you, dude. Uh, uh, is it Karen? I think it might have... It might have been Karen. Yeah. It's possibly Karen. Yeah, it's pro- It's Karen. I'm pretty sure it's Karen. But yeah, uh, so... Wait. Oh, shit. What? Fucking Karen. Where are the kids, Karen? Karen, where's my... Fu- They're my kids, too. You go, you go to a fucking summer camp and don't bring the fucking kids? What is this? I thought you said you were bringing them to summer camp. What the... F- God damn it, Karen. What a bitch. She took the fucking kids. Took the fucking kids. <laughs> took our fucking lives. Doesn't even like take it to a, a camp. Anyway, so so Eddie and Karen are having like this having a thing. Karen's all hesitant about shit, and uh, of course Eddie's just getting angry. Who the fuck does that? Who gets angry over this shit? Like. You won't give me pussy. How dare you? How dare you? I am your boyfriend. I am entitled to pussy. I am entitled to your poon. Just so you, just so you know, guys, you're never entitled to that. Yeah, you are not entitled to that. Okay, I take off your fucking fedora. You are not entitled to that. Take off your okay. fedora, shave your fucking neck beard, and go run a couple laps on the track. Yes, please. Do yourself a fucking favor. Anyway. So, yeah, they have that little back back and forth, but then it's like, okay, Eddie, I'll come, I'll come swim with you. And then it's like, they start doing their thing. Like, like they get all undressed, and it's like, and it's like, oh, what a surprise. Like, shit's... Ugh. He gets angry at her again, and... You know, that whole back and forth happens again. And he's like... He's getting kind of rapey about it, and then she just fucking leaves. He gets angry. He's like... Yeah... I don't, you know what, this guy, I don't think he's a likable character. Yeah, I don't think he was made to be a likable character. Yeah, I mean, not that he's that big of a character anyway. What the fuck was that sound? What is that? Uh, I think, like, there's been alerts going on in Florida about some things going on, so. Is, is it, pinging. is it Florida man? Florida man, dog. Fucking Florida man. Oh my god, it's Florida man. Florida man. There's multiple Florida mans, dog. It's like fucking... 
It's like fucking Slim no. Shady. It's dude, like, dude. I'm Florida Man. I'm Florida Man. No, I'm Florida Man. Honestly, dude, there's got to be a, like a Florida Man cult or something. Now that now that's an idea for for a movie. <laughs> Attack of the Florida Men. I know. That'd be great. Anyway, so then she swims she swims to shore. Eddie's being a salty prick. Salty little bitch. Yeah, and then she finds that all her clothes are like strewn across the across the um like strewn across the forest and they weren't where she left them. And so she's under the suspicion that like the other guys like pranked her and shit. And then it's like, you know, then we find, you know, like Cropsy shows up to no surprise. Well, you know what? Finally he shows up, pulls out his fucking awesome garden shears and it's like and just slits some throats. Yeah, he just slits real deep with that shit. And she's just, just fucking blood everywhere. And it's like getting everywhere and shit. This is this is why I love Tom Savini cuz like he yeah. he makes such he you know, he makes the wait worth it. But also like it's it just is worth it anyway mm-hmm. but i don't know hold on okay you know what? here you talk about something for a minute i'm gonna get some tissues okay um, uh, okay yeah uh here, here we go yeah uh you're on um, your own for a second so all right uh oh no all right all right, all right guys so here this me. is the uh, this is the me part of the movie, and we're coming up on, we're kind of going up on the counselor, just like meeting up with Eddie. It's like, yo, the fuck you were? Like, where the fuck was Karen? We know you were with her last night, and she didn't come back. So Eddie's like, well, what the fuck? How the fuck am I supposed to know? It's like, Eddie, fucking stop acting like a bitch, dog. Like, tell her what happened. Like, Eddie's like, I don't know. She was, she was supposed to be here. Let me call out. And like he screams her name for some reason, like he just does. He hawks her re, and it's like it's like okay, that that happens. So so what? And like uh, Michelle's like fucking pissed. Todd's like trying to calm down Michelle. Michelle says fuck you, and she's like having none of any shit. And like kind of understandable. Eddie's like a dick. Like he's kind of like an asshole, and you're not supposed to like him much. But like he's kind of like that lovable asshole, you know? It's like. He's your boy, and you and you kind of like him, but he's a dick too. So like, yeah, they explain what happened, and uh, Eddie's pissed because he didn't get any pussy, and then like Michelle's like, "You're an asshole," and so they gotta go up uh, look, and then the fucking canoes gone, fucking canoes are gone. Like, you don't know what the fuck happened. It's just someone takes the goddamn shit. Now they can't go back to their fucking camp because some asshole. Stole fucking canoes. You don't even know what's happening. So now, like, they gotta, like, find a way to, like, find the goddamn canoes. But they don't know. She's like, maybe Karen let go of the canoes. And and they're like, how the fuck could Karen let go of the canoes? And like, well, like, the counselor said, like, if she doesn't feel okay, she could just, like, go. And it's just like, if that, that doesn't make any sense. Why the fuck would she, like, take all the canoes? So now they're like debating if Karen like went back home or if it's a fucking prank. But now they don't have fucking canoes anymore, which is a stupid thing. Why you wouldn't leave your canoes at a different spot and like tie them to a better place on the shore? So now we have like this fucking um, uh, we have this like fl- fucking Lord of the Flies meeting where they're all like sitting on rocks and shit having this meeting, and now it's just like listen, we're trying to find out what the canoes and where Karen's is and like. They were like, what the fuck happened? And then, like, fucking asshole, uh, my God, uh, Glacier, like, blames Alfred. And Alfred's, like, the biggest beta in the world. So you just, like, see him just, like, trying to defend himself. Like, what the fuck? And then it's just, like, you have... It's just, like, this goes back and forth for a little bit. And it's like, look, 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 listen. We gotta split up, and we gotta, like... 
get people back to shore, to, like say what happens and time we're going to build a raft. We're going to build a fucking raft. And it's like, why don't we fucking walk back? Why, why, why would I go build a raft? It's like, look, it's too dense. We got to build a raft now. Get some shit for a raft. And it's like, fuck. And all the time, by the way, they've been throwing rocks. So, yeah. So, yeah, they, they all fan okay. out. I'm Scooby back. Doo style. Oh, okay. You're back. Cool. Okay. How, how did things go? I don't know. I just started rambling on because I was scared. Okay. Yeah. I think I did good. Well, I think you did all right. I trust yeah. you. I'm trusted now. Um, so what did I miss? Uh, they're building a raft. Oh, wait. Did I miss any more kills or... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, because, like, the the uh, canoes went missing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spooky. Spooky. So, yeah, now they're, uh... They're bitching about, like, raft building all this shit. And... Like, you got the boy saying, hey, uh, my boy, why don't you just, like, pull a motorboat out of your ass? And it's like, you know what? That's a good idea. Let me, like, pull a motorboat out of my ass. Well, and like, certainly. <laughs> and, and does, like, a <laughs> this part. So this girl, she finds, like, an empty, like, I assume milk carton. Yeah, that's a milk like, jug. She, yeah. And it's like, hey, what about this? What about it? What, what do you expect? Looks like a motorboat for ants or something. Well, it <laughs> floats. Well, fuck your floats. And then, like, we see, like, the hottest girl in the entire movie, but she has no lines ever. Wait, wait which one? Which one was it? The one in pink. Yeah, I guess. Steven Crowder changing my mind. Dude, Steven Crowder is a fucking hack. Let's be honest, though. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, did, dude, did you see that one thing where he did like the socialism is evil, change my mind, and this one kid just completely melted his ass? Like, No. Dude, it's, oh my god, it's fucking hilarious. Like, I mean, he pulls, like, Steven ends up pulling like the civility card, like what, like five times or something? Because he's a fucking hypocrite? But mm -hmm. anyway, that's enough politics for this episode. Get your... Yeah, if we don't talk about politics yeah, in the yeah, show. Yeah, I'm, this is not a political podcast. If you we, if you if you want a political talk. podcast, I would rec I would highly recommend that either a the David Pakman show or b uh, secular talk with uh, Kyle Kalinsky. Those are great podcasts. You should go listen to them because we only talk about politics if the movie has like politics that are fake in them. But yeah, since there's no movies about that, we don't talk about politics. Yeah, but anyway, so they, so they're going along doing their thing, and then we have, uh, you know, th uh, Glazer and uh, Sally, and like they're they're looking for wood and uh, Sally, and so Glazer wants Sally to look for his wood, um, and but Sally doesn't and, want none. Yeah, she, she doesn't want that wood right now. She wants she wants to get some wrapped wood. <laughs> but Glazer doesn't want wrapped wood because they're not lubricated. <laughs> this wood isn't lubricated. <laughs> Le leave it, Sally. It's not worth it. So yeah, they just like this is a little back and forth. <laughs> yep, he's just like kissing at her again. Ugh. I I have to say, like the like this scene and the Eddie scene, they do not age well. What? Oh, this oh. scene and the and the Eddie scene, they do not age well. Oh at yeah, all. absolutely yeah. And then we got them building a raft. Yep. And it's a fine raft. That and it'll be a great raft. It will be a grand raft. And, you know, and then we got uh, Crosby with the Vaseline on his camera again. Crosby? I don't know. Cropsy. It's Cropsy. Cropsy. Cro Crosby's the name of a singer. 
Bing oh. Crosby. Oh. So th these two are going at it again with a super high shutter speed for some reason. And, and so then she's like, and then like she makes a promise like, oh shit, he's like, you're my girl, you know that, right? Yeah. And, I love and, you. Yeah, it's like, he's just, she's like teasing him a little bit. It's like, no, no, no. Not no, today. No, not right now. Maybe later. And then the secret Alfred. <laughs> and then Alfred. To no surprise. Just look at that stance, one. too. Yeah, just like... And that look on his face, too, is like... Eh. He's like... He's trying to muster a smile. It's like... Eh, this, this, <laughs> me like this. This very good. Very I just want to scare her. Mmm... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna scare both of them. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prank them. I'm gonna make an epic prank. <laughs> epic Fortnite run. <laughs> epic prank. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Uh, if only Woodstock was here with his air gun, that'd be fucking hilarious. Oh my god, like, if he goes in for the kiss, Woodstock just snipes him out of nowhere. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh yeah, it would. So, and then we got the boys on the raft. Yeah, yeah. Freaking Eddie and Woody and then three extras, three extra girls. We don't care about them, they're oh, wait, extras. No, no, no. Eddie, Woodstock, two extra girls, and Tiger. No, Tiger's in the background. Oh wait, never mind. No, it's it's uh the other kid. The the other white kid. Or Yeah, the tall one that we don't care about. The yeah. Kinda chubby, I guess. Yeah. So they go off and they're like, Oh Yeah, it's, it's a, like it's a good to buy for them. Yeah, it's like go get us help or go find our fucking canoes, you assholes. <laughs> And then they all can't row right because they're terrible. Yeah, because they're fucking lazy. Man, I thought we were going to be like rowing and having fun. And it's like, this isn't fun at all. I don't like it. I'm tired. Just shut up and keep rowing. No one gives a fuck. And then they see a canoe. Yeah, they see one of the canoes. They start making okay. their way towards it. And then we have the most infamous scene from this movie a canoe a canoe and then and then he reaches in to grab it and it's like oh no Fuck yeah and then we get Zekilla. okay that's okay this right here this this shot right here that's it's good. a good that that's that's a that's a thumbnail right there that's a fucking that's, okay but so then Cropsy pops up, fucking holding up his shears like like there's some sort of fucking idol, and he mm -hmm. just he comes down and fucking slashes no name white boy, <laughs> and then go, goes for another, sta stabs the girl in the side. She goes in the water. Go oh yeah, then this fucking kill right here. He he like. He oh yeah, he chops off fingers. Woodstock's fucking fingers, and it's like can't the, shoot your gun now, bitch. <laughs> can't shoot your fucking air gun now, karma, bitch. And it's like then finally Eddie fucking dies. Good fucking riddance. Gets this gets this deep cut like right above his collarbone, and just Get like fucked Eddie. Yeah. And then the girl gets like her fucking oh yeah here watch face cut open. Watch this shit. Fucking look at how look at that how deep that fucking cut is. I I gotta say out of all of the uh, effects that we've seen for Gore, this one like is a it's really professional. I like this one better. Yeah, this this is probably one of the best ones because it's like that's a deep fucking cut, dude. Like mm -hmm. on her on her forehead, like that probably cut through her skull a little. It had to. Yeah, it had to. Then we got get this this oh I'm trying to be artsy kind of shot. Oh, this is an art movie now. Blood yeah, this, yeah we're, guys, have you guys seen Suspiria? <laughs> <laughs> All red. All red screen. Yeah. The fuck. burning. <laughs> the burning. 
And so then we radar starts Friday. <laughs> and then we got uh we got them like chilling in the woods, like I'm sure they're fine. Yeah. They're I like I like their thing. Uh Todd, yeah, they, Todd and yeah. Michelle. Like th- that's yeah. fucking goals. Like relationship goals. Honestly. Me and my girlfriend, uh, that's kind of our dynamic. Hi, Tori. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, that, that's all I have to say about that. It's re- it's really cute. Mm, nice. Yeah. Aw. They, they look so Jesus happy. Is a- they're happy because Jesus is watching and Jesus is happy for them. Praise Jesus. Praise a Jesus. So, yeah. I mean, like, you praise Jesus. I praise the great Lord Tachanka. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, no. It's all about that uh, flying spaghetti monster. Like flying spaghetti monster. I love the flying spaghetti monster. He's he he yeah, has he, provided he's, us with the greatest food in our dimension. Yeah. And now back to the movie where we have Glazer make glazed donuts. Yeah, make <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, making glaze some great glazed donut. <laughs> some glazed donut. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yep. Oh. It's like just just let it happen, goddamn. Yeah, it's just like they're yeah they're just like stop, hold still, and it's like yeah they don't sound like they're having too good of a time, and so it's like then they have like this tender little moment just after um the tender disappointment. Yeah, but like like it starts out here. Watch. I mean, first of all, he sounds like a dying animal as he climaxes. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Shit. That's all. Yeah, that's all, unfortunately. When you're making sorry, sorry. when you're making donuts, you gotta learn to be a one pump chump. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> did you just say one pump chump? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make those donuts quick, guys. <laughs> One dumb jump. <laughs> In and out, let's go. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's great. That is so great. Thank you. Thank you, Landon, for saying that. That's why I'm your co host. <laughs> yep. All right, anyway. It's done, baby. Trust me. Trust me, baby. Sally? You cold, huh? Yes. Oh, yeah, they're cold. You didn't do too much to warm me up. Yeah, so, so like, you got this uh, shit where you gotta, know, like, you do this, and, like, it's just back and forth. Yeah, this is, this is actually the only, like, redeeming moment for, for, uh, Glazer. Because he's actually a gentleman. It's like, let me, like, go warm you up and stuff. Yeah. We might... What are you saying? You mean that? Oh, how, how, uh, how cute. Honest, I, I, I wasn't going to say cute, because honestly, Todd and Michelle are a better couple. Because that, that's that shit's fucking wholesome. Well, um, yeah, they're like the main couple, but like, this is redeeming, I guess. Yeah. It's redeeming ish. So yeah. That's a girl. Anyway, so so then uh Glazer gets up to go um to go back to the campsite and get some to steal some lighters. Oh wait, how did he put it? It's like Listen, you stay warm, you hear? No. I'm coming right back. <laughs> First big mistake. To quote Scream, never say I'm coming right back. That's your first mistake. Mm. And so Cropsy comes in behind Sally and he's like, whoa, 
Well, that's some that's some big shears you got there, big boy. And yeah, that's. Oh shit! It's a cropsy. It's cropsy, and he like, like she she actually tries to fight back. Like she tries to hold back his freaking shears and shit, and she like struggles a little bit before oh. before he fucking. Oh no. We're being Where is it gonna land? Where is it gonna land? Where is it? Oh wait. Oh we don't get to see, right? Yeah, we don't get to see. We just see Glazer go back, get some get get some matches to build a hot fire. And he's like you know, Alfred's watching <clears throat> again and he's like He's all he's always watching. I'm watching you, Ms. Ask. I'm watching you, Glazer. Always uh, watching. Always watching. Always. Yeah. And so then it's like... Alfred, for some fucking reason, decides to follow Glazer. It's like, I wonder what they're do- No. I'm gonna scare him again. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna scare him. I'm so scary, guys. I'm so scary. I'm gonna give him an epic plank. <laughs> Holy shit, I did not expect that in the slightest. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, yes. Amazing. Oh, that's perfect. So anyway, yeah. So Alfred go chases after him again. And you know Glazer's like collecting wood and shit on his way back. Gotta make that fire. Gotta make that fire. And so that he's like he finds Sally. She's like asleep and shit. Or at least he, th Sally, he thinks up. she's asleep. And wake then it's up, like Sally. Oh shit. Fucking Fucking she, yeah. there's shears in the bed, and he fucking gets stabbed straight through the straight through the chest. Ow! Who put these shears in the bed? Ow! These are a safety hazard. What the fuck, Sally? And so yeah, he's fucking okay. Hold on. So he was, he got stabbed in the chest. Now it's up to his neck. Did did Cropsey just like rip straight up to his neck, dude? If that's the case, yeah. that's fucking. Sick, man. But yeah, so... Like, he's being held up by... Like, Glazer's being held up by these shears now. And he's just, like... He's getting carried over... Like, this really cool dolly shot. Mm -hmm. And it's like... He gets, like, put in the fucking tree. And it's like... You know, he's struggling. He's struggling. Alfred's watching in horror. And he fucking runs... Cause Alfred's a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch! He's not. What a fucking loser! Like, doesn't... like, do doesn't fight against these this big fucking monster with fuck with like. Sees sees a little bit of gore and then runs away. What a fucking dork! What a pussy, lol! <laughs> what a puss! What a virgin! What a fucking virgin! Dude, Glazer was a Chad. He took him head on. Chad Glaz Chad Glazer dying like a man, pussy virgin Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute Chad. Alright. So yeah, Glazer's dead, finally. And uh Yeah, I don't yeah, um I, I don't care, Landon. I don't care if you like Glazer. Fuck Glazer, he's dead. Fuck okay. you. Fuck you too, bitch. Okay. Glazer's my Glazer's my god now. Ew. <laughs> we'll rise up again. <laughs> Gamers rise up. Um so yeah. He runs back, like Alfred runs back, wakes up Todd, and he's like and Todd's like, spare not be one, another one of those tr one of your tricks. I'm, I'm just gonna please don't scare me. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know the only reason I know that his name is Todd because he kind of looks like Todd Howard. <gasps> oh shit! Yeah. Oh shit! He looks like Todd Howard. Oh, yep. He looks like an early '80s Jewish Todd Howard. 
Oh shit! What? Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Wow! That, yep. That's so epic, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow! That's so epic. Epic victory royale. Epic victory royale, dog. Yeah. Anyway, so Alfred wakes up Todd. He's like. It's better not be in one, another one of your pranks. Then, uh, yeah, he brings Todd down to the scene of the crime, and he f- and he finds uh, finds Glazer, big old gash in his neck, and then it's like, oh shit, Cropsy's here, and he just like barely misses Todd, and somehow like, like. A slight cut in like Todd's head, like completely knocks him out. Oh yeah, that's true. That's weird. And then Alfred just books it. Yeah, Alfred just books it. I think this is the scene where like the me- the best part of the music comes in. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Go Alfred, you can't fucking swim, but you have the constitution to run like a bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, big chase scene. He he gets chased to like this. Uh, ch- gets chased to the ruins of Camp Blackfoot. Mm-hmm. Then Todd wakes up. Fine, and uh, the the raft from the massacre earlier on shows up. It comes floating back with all the dead bodies, and it's like. Like they, like the, they think that it's like like a prank or some shit, and it's like, oh oh, they got us. They they, they, they got us, funny. guys. They pulled us. Enough funny. is enough, right? Come on, bring it in, guys. <laughs> and it's like so. Then uh, Michelle goes to check on him, and it's like, and Todd shows up covered in blood. Hey, Todd. What's going on? And so then Michelle, she, Michelle sees a bloody hand. She and so instinctively she grabs it for some reason. Hmm. And oh shit, the fucking it's a fucking dismembered arm. That's that's rad. And you know then oh shit, fucking like does like a Jaws thing where it's like like a dead. Like a dead body, like bobs up out of the water, or oh, like, shit. or just pops up, and it's like, and it fades to red again. And then it's like you know aftermath. Everyone's crying and shit. Then it's like, like you know back to Alfred running. Yeah, there's a lot of filler in this part. There's a lot of filler. Yeah, in general yeah. there. So then Todd goes after him. There, uh, the rest, M- Michelle and the rest of the kids are go- are sw- going back to camp. And then it's like, like they're going. Um, Michelle makes it back to camp and finds um. And like contacts the police and shit. All the other, all the other kids and our, and our boy Jason Alexander fucking. George Costanza gets gets taken back ashore, so they're okay. he's okay at least, which is mm-hmm. good. Everyone everyone loves this man's. Um, so yeah, then uh, I love my buddy George. And then um, Alfred finds this abandoned mine, like like it's fucking Minecraft or something. And then like Michelle and and one of the other counselors are on are on a speedboat on their way back trying to trying to recover um recover Todd and Alfred so you know Todd's running or Alfred's running after after a excessive amount of close up shots if like Todd gets or Alfred gets grabbed and then it gets taken inside somewhere. 
And it's like Todd finds his way there and gets and we get taken to this really fucking cool looking layer and shit. And then like like Alf like uh Todd's looking around looking for Alfred and then it's like He, like he almost gets hit by a minecart, and then he finds uh, what's her name's dead body. Uh, oh, what, what, God damn it! I forgot her name again. Uh, Karen. Yeah, he found Karen's dead body, which I mean is like clearly, clearly a still image. By the way, like. And also, I'm pretty sure this shot was outside. So it's like, wait a minute. Wasn't he just inside? Anyway, so it's like, like he gets scared, he gets out of there. And then it's like, then like, Cropsy has like a fucking flamethrower. Which, by the way, he never ends up using at any point in this movie. Oh, yeah, he does have that, doesn't he? Yeah, he doesn't. And so then, like, he's just... He's just watching... He's just watching him walk for, like, a long-ass time. And we keep getting these, like, flashback shots of the, um, of the burning incident. Because plot twist, frickin'... Todd was, um, Todd was one of the kids involved in that shit, so. What a conspiracy. Yeah, one of the co-conspirators. And then we got, and then we got, like, the final battle, I guess, if it could be called a battle. Yeah, the final, the final showdown. Everything comes full circle now. We keep getting, all, and we keep getting these close ups of Todd. It, like It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Wow. And it's like we keep getting these close ups and shit, more flashbacks, more more repetition. Um So um So he finds let's see. Oh no, he no, he sees, um, he finally sees Cropsy and is like his bubblegum pink burnt face, which is still really fucking cool. It is a good, it is a good face. It is a very well done makeup effect. I applaud Tom Savini for this great fucking job. I love it so much. And it's like, you know. He tries using the flamethrower, and it's like, like let's see. I think yeah, he knock he gets knocked over, and then it's like, then like Alfred, you know, does a thing, where it's like he gets where he manages to take up of the shears that was suspending him to the wall, and then he and manages stabs them. Yeah, and stabbed him in the back. Wow. He's redeemed now. He's actually a man. He's he's a ch congratulations, Alfred. You're a Chad now. Now you're no longer a virgin in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And then like the end has my favorite part because like it's just peace and serene and it's like, oh okay, everything's over. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's a like, fuck you, we got this last Karen. Yeah. And so Yeah, they're just like walking on their way out. It, and it's like freaking Cropsy grabs Alfred. For, got bloodier. Um then Todd just fucking axes him straight in the fucking head. And just like like some fucking like Friday the Thirteenth Part Four level shit, and then like freaking Alfred picks up a flamethrower like he's Ellen fucking Ripley, and, and like burns him. and just burns Cropsy, 
and then like you know the final flashbacks of Cropsy burning before Cropsy burning now everything has come full circle and, it's... and then like they leave and the movie ends on a fully grown Alfred telling the story oh yeah yeah which by the way is it fully grown Alfred? Yeah, that's Alfred. Are you, are you sure? Uh, that's my assumption because yeah. like he has a similar hairstyle. Well, no, no. Here's the thing. Every every okay. Here's the thing. Everybody in this movie has a Jew fro. Okay. <laughs> everybody in this movie has a Jew fro. Because I mean, think think true. think. Because think about it. It's like you're having a. You're having a movie produced by the Weinstein brothers. Of course, you're going to have a mostly Jewish cast. I mean, that's why Jason Alexander's in it. I'm pretty sure Jason Alexander is at least ethnically Jewish. Mm -hmm. But anyway. They say his spirit lives in the forest. This forest. A maniac. A thing no longer human. They say he lives on whatever he can catch. Eats them raw, alive maybe. And every year he picks on a summer camp and seeks his revenge for the terrible things those kids did to him. Every year he kills. Right now he's out there watching, waiting. So don't look. He'll see you. Don't breathe. He'll hear you. Don't move. You're dead! Oh, yeah. So, yeah. That's that's the movie, guys. And it was a good movie. It was very good. Honestly, probably one of the better, like, Friday the 13th ripoff movies. Just like, it actually had a likable cast. Yeah, it had a really good cast. Um, fucking sick ass soundtrack. It, yeah, I liked it. I'm I actually it. glad I watched it. Yeah, honestly, me too. It's a, it's a really fun experience. I feel like we probably undersold this a little bit, but you know what? Whatever, dude. I mean, I uh, undersell everything I do. But I'm still in college, so. Yep. I forgot. What are you trying to major in again? Cybersecurity. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I don't think you ever told me that before, but yeah, that's pretty rad. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so this, is, this has been The Burning from 1981, and... This has been the Grindcast. My name is um, Alex. I'm Landon. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye-bye.